Hey everybody, it's Josh here, the trumpet specialist at Pages Music, and I'm here with one of the newest Hoosiers, Jason Bergman. He's the new associate professor at Indiana University, Jacobs School of Music. So we're really excited to welcome Dr. Bergman to the Indiana State at the Indiana State Fair. Thank you so much. It's awesome to be here. What better way to get to know Indiana than coming to the State Fair? We just saw an ox, like a real ox. It's amazing. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're really, really excited to, to have you as a part of the Indiana family and to welcome you as Pages Music and get to host you for my first event at Pages. And we wanted to kind of get together and get to know you a little better and help our customers get to know you better and the, really the state. So um, if you want to just tell us a little bit about your background and what kind of brought you to Indiana. Yeah, thanks. It's an honor for me to, to not only be with, here with you today at the State Fair, but to have this event coming up at Pages Music. Um, so I am in Indiana now with my family. We have moved because of this new position at... Um, at the Jacob School of Music in Bloomington, and I'm loving it so far. It's uh, Indiana is a great place, and I'm originally from Texas, um, and so there's a lot of things actually in co we have in common with Indiana and Texas. Believe it or not, um, this reminds me of the Texas State Fair with Big Tex, and our family is here now because of this job. And um, we moved here from Utah. I was teaching at Brigham Young University and I'm really excited to be joining the faculty of the Jacobs School. And uh, it's great to be connected with great trumpet players like you. Yeah, thanks. So what have been some of your like favorite moments as a trumpet player? One of my favorite moments performing um, is I've been fortunate to perform um, several, you know, the symphonies by Gustav Mahler. He's one of my favorite composers. And one of my favorite moments in all of music is the end of the second symphony. And getting to perform that several places around the world um, is just every time you get to that big cadence, the ending of that piece, it's so amazing. It's, it feels like the heavens open. Um, that's a great moment of, um, that always sticks out in my mind. So what has been your favorite part of being a new Hoosier? A Hoosier? Well, it hasn't happened yet. But I have this dream of getting a pair of candy stripe pants and like doing a performance um, like I'm on the basketball team. So um, I'm kind of, I've also memorized our fight song. There and so go. I look forward to I want to play that on a red trumpet or sorry, a crimson trumpet yep. with the candy stripe pants. That will that will be a great memory um, in I, Assembly Hall. Yeah, because you could hall. probably get that hooked up. I, I, I'll, I need to make some connections yeah. for that. But, you know, my, I think my favorite thing so far has been just getting to know the know, know people here. Yeah. You know, I think Indiana has a reputation of people being really friendly and supportive and, and kind. And that's what our experience has been like. Our neighbors are wonderful. Um, the people in Bloomington so far have just been great. So I think the people are really the best part of, of Indiana. That's awesome. What have been your experiences with local music stores like Pages in your upbringing as a trumpeter? Well, I grew up in, in Dallas, Texas, and there was a music store that was pretty prominent through that whole DFW region. Yeah. And I, I saw that there were, um, you know, benefits of the music store. It was a place where families can come to get their kids started uh, on, on an instrument. And in many ways, the music store has a lot of influence on what happens with families and, and kids you know, based on the instruments they recommend. I think there are some places that can take advantage of that. Um, but I think that um, by and large over time, I've noticed that music stores are really, um, they're people that are passionate about music. And although it's a business, they wanna help people of all ages be able to have music in their life. Um, and so in my, my brief experience with Pages, it seems like that's what it's all about. I've been yeah. so impressed with the, the, the videos and the social media and the outreach that, that your company does um, and getting to be at the store. Um, there's a great, I'm partial to the trumpets, but there's a great selection of trumpets and mouthpieces. Um, and it really feels like, 
you know, having you there as the trumpet specialist, that trumpet players in, in Indiana are going to be really fortunate to have someone who, who has a doctorate in trumpet that's really knowledgeable that can help um, young people or older people, you know, get inf- really good information about a variety of trumpets. So I think Indiana is in great shape having Paige's music, for sure. Yeah, yeah. We'll get your check ready. <laughs> yeah, so we're at the beginning of the school year. A lot of students are just starting out on their instrument, whether it's trumpet or another another instrument. So what inspired you or what helped you go from being a fifth or sixth grader, playing the trumpet, learning just the first few notes, to now you know, being at one of the top music schools in the country or the world teaching trumpet there? At the beginning, I, I can still remember... One of my children is in sixth grade this year, and I remember between fifth and sixth grade going into beginner band and starting out on the trumpet. When I was young, my my mom would play records of Doc Severinsen, and would if I got really lucky, I could like watch on the Tonight Show, and his sound was just amazing. And that was when I was starting out. That was the beginning of Winton's career, and so his first CD came out. And I remember listening to those and just having the trumpet sound in my head. And I thought, I want to try that for band. And then for me, it was unique where early on, even in middle school, by the time I was in eighth grade, I thought, I want to do something with the trumpet for the rest of my life. It was just, I was hooked. And I'm not sure exactly what it was. I think there was the thrill of being able to like work on something and see progress and get better at it. And I think also just the joy of like playing. And it takes you know, making very clear goals and working really hard for them and a lot of luck. I've done both of those things, but I feel like initially I wanted to play in an orchestra and have done that and done a lot of of work towards that. But the more that I went farther in music, the more that I realized in my heart that I wanted to be a teacher. And I felt like teaching college students was the, a place to like really have an impact on, on them with a way that fit with my personality best. And so I love collaborating and I love performing, but I love teaching the most. And so I feel like just so fortunate that I can have a job like this one and get to work with great students, but trying to make an impact on their lives. That's the best part of, I think, what I'm able to do, what teachers can do. Yeah. Now that you're in Indiana, whether it's with Jacobs or with the community or with the state, like what are some of your your goals? Well, music is really strong in Indiana. There are great band programs and music programs across the state. There are, are We have peer institutions and other universities in the state that are really, really great. I hope to make it so that, at least from the trumpet player's perspective in Indiana, that they see it as an accessible place where everybody's welcome. Um, you know, Indiana has this reputation of being an international school of music, and it's really big. And... The Jacobs School is is really renowned, and I think that can be intimidating. I'm intimidated, you know, and I'm going to be working there. And so I hope that as I can get out and do classes and meet with with students and teachers, that they know that in the trumpet studio at at at, at the Jacobs School that we're accessible, that they belong there, that they're they're just as important as any trumpet player from anywhere else. And so I hope that we can kind of tear down that wall of intimidation that just comes because of a place like that. And that it's a, a place where, where anybody can, can go. And so um, as young players are looking for schools, you know, they have to work hard and, and qualify. But, but we as a trumpet faculty, the th- you know, the Joey and John and I especially, we are really, we just want to help all students. Yeah. And so hopefully we can help contribute to the, the music scene of Indiana as well through events that we host there and, and other performances that we do. And I really want to get connected with musicians across the state. I've been fortunate to work at different universities and play with lots of musical groups, but not done a lot in Indiana. And so I'm excited to grow and learn and connect and collaborate. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, it's been great getting to hang out with you at the State Fair. Hopefully you feel more like a Hoosier now. I am a Hoosier. And we can't wait to host you on September 17th for your master class, Dream Big really just navigating the musical world and trying to find success. So, I mean, I'd be happy to hear a little bit more about that masterclass and what students can expect. Yeah, I want to just share my ideas about dreaming big and that there's a lot of ways to have a future in the music business, whether it's your career, whether it's just for fun. Um, But there's there's enough space in music. It's a big tent 
field and everybody's got a part in it. And I want to share some, some practical tips for trumpet players and regular musicians that play other instruments. Um, but I think we're just going to have a good time and, and I think an optimistic approach onto how music can impact our lives and how we can share that with other people. I think we're going to have a great day. I'm excited for it. Yeah, and Jason will also be available. You can sign up for testing, whether it's trumpet testing or mouthpiece testing appointments with him. And we'll have more information out about that with this, with this interview. But it's just been so great to hang out with you, help you experience a little bit more about being a Hoosier here at the State Fair. And we can't wait to, to have you come into the store on September 17th. Thanks. I've loved it. It's been awesome. I can't wait to see, see everybody on the 17th.